Those are my two Lassius Flavus queens. Look at them. They are beautiful. They have pretty yellowish gasters, and the rest of the body looks black. Those species of ants are polygynous. That means that they can have multiple queens in one nest. As you can see here, they both have two piles of eggs. I captured them next to my house. They were just walking around and trying to find a safe place to start their colony. I took my test tube and took them both into one, hoping they would like each other and not kill, but start a big empire together. This is actually one of the Polish species I like the most. They can have, as I said earlier, multiple queens, but their workers are very bright orange in color. That's what makes them unique, and in the top three of the ants I love. My hopes are high for those two, and I'm holding my fingers for them. Hope some workers would hatch soon. I have them at least a week or so. Now, the third colony of Lacia species in my collection. This black garden ant is a queen found after a massive nuptial flight here in my city. After high temperatures here, this species has multiple nuptial flights and you can find them almost every day here. What I like in them? They are not as boring as people say. Their growth rate is nice. They are aggressive when it comes to defending their nest. And they, what is actually rare, can have multiple queens too. Especially at the founding stage, when two queens help each other start colony. And then workers choose one queen to die, and the second would rule their kingdom. Harsh for me, but nature is nature. Here, we can clearly see some eggs she laid, some pupae, just newly formed as it's white in color, and some larvae there, but yet small. Queen is so pretty, she's looking so nice. I actually really like the Lassia species. Not only Flavus as I mentioned before, but every other. I have a Lassius umbratus colony, which I can't show as I have them in soil formicarium. But when they grow and first umbratus workers hatch, I for sure will show them, as they have pretty colors and nice behavior too. This colony after some time, I'll move them to a new brand formicarium. I don't know yet what exactly it would be, but I thought about wall formicarium, and that would be it, I think. And here, we can see my second biggest Lacia species colony. Those black garden ants are two months in my house. Look at those larvas there. And queen here, we can see here legs and their brown color. It looks very nice. Soon, I'll move them to soil where they can dig and build big empire. And now, one of the best I think Polish ants? Maybe I'll put them on the second place as my favorites, as now you can see this small black ant queen is from a species called Tetramorium. She laid some eggs, and we can see larvas there too. She's very active, maybe because I took her from the darkness. This Tetramorium species is actually very common in Poland. They are very small and hard to keep, especially with workers being millimeters small. They have hard time drinking even water mixed with honey. But as they grow and colony gets bigger, it is easier and less lost of workers is happening. She for sure will be in the test tube yet for some time. And now some very short footage I took of my Messer Barbarus species workers. One is taking a stone somewhere, and later we can see the second worker doing something with a part of a dead one. Here on the right side of the first worker, an ant with a part of her sister walking around with a piece of fallen one. Imagine people doing the same thing as this ant on the right side is doing. Scary. And here is the footage of two Messer ants attacking poor Darkling Beetle. He is from my private breeding of those, but he somehow got a little deformed. So instead of keeping him with pain and being not able to fully function, I gave him to ants to eat and help them grow more workers. Look how determined they are, not letting off his legs, biting, and even though he is moving fast and strong, they do not stop their bite. Ants have very strong jaws, so they will not let him easily throw them off him. Sometimes after death, ants still if they were attached to something with their jaws, they still are, even after dying. Now we can see the bigger part of my Messer colony, and med ants, some small ones, and some brood with two soon arriving. There are larvas here too, white pupae and some brownish ones.
And actually, Mesa barbarus are the first on my favorite worldwide ant species list. They are called harvester ants as they gather all kinds of seed and they make ant bread by mixing almost like mashed seeds with their saliva. And now something that happened very fast in no time. I bet that someone who watched my first video knows about Lacius colony I had with adopted brood. They grew so fast. Those are them now. And they have yet many of Pupai on the right side of the nest. And now my number one on my favorite Polish ant species list. Myrmica rubra. They call it European fire ants, as they are just fire ants, but smaller, less numbers, but almost same. They can too have multiple queens. I have three here, two were here first, and yesterday I added another one from the wild. Sadly, three workers died before arriving, and one after almost drowning in honey. We can see him laying there in the center. About those, I'll make a new video about day one to day 60 colony growth, so subscribe and wait. And now a special one. That's what I was waiting for all of my ant keeping time. Formica species, that I suppose is Formica scenaria. I always wanted her. And someday I just found her walking around the sidewalk. Yeah, and I had previously one, but she died from a parasite something like tapeworm. But in her gaster, she didn't lay eggs, and her gaster looked a little deformed, but I thought it yet is normal. But sadly not. She died two days later. I will soon make a video about them, their growth from day 1 to day 60. So keep watching. See you soon, Fire Antica viewers. Bye-bye.